Prince William has been defying a ban the Queen imposed on the royal family by playing a special board game with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Prince William discussed funny and childlike version of himself as he spoke to the Royal Marsden London Hospital's radio station. He admitted to loving playing Monopoly and Risk with Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis during the festive season. The comments are an open admission to his open defiance of the Queen's orders, who banned the royal family from playing one of the board games. Prince William said he has been particularly enjoying Christmas and the holiday period since welcoming his three children with wife Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. The Duke said, I think generally for me, bringing the family together at Christmas time, it's always lovely because we're quite spread out to doing our things a lot of time throughout the year. And so we get very few moments actually coming together. And when I see my children meet up with some of my cousin's children and they will have a wonderful time playing together, it's very special. So I look forward to that a lot. And also Christmas is a new dynamic now that we have children. Suddenly it's a whole different ball game of noise and excitement. So now I'm enjoying the new version of Christmas in my life. The Duke said he and Kate have been playing board games with the children quite a lot. We love playing Monopoly, that's a good one, but added some people get quite cross when they lose. Indeed, royal experts have suggested the competitiveness within the royal family has been at the heart of the Queen's decision to ban Monopoly from the list of games the family can play together according to Marie Claire. In December 2008, Prince Andrew attended Leeds Building Society's newly refurbished Albion Street headquarters. Before he left the Duke of York was given the property board game Monopoly to mark his visit. However, Andrew had to politely decline the game as he reportedly revealed, we are not allowed to play Monopoly at home. The Daily Telegraph reported Andrew explained the game could cause arguments within the family, as it gets too vicious. During his talk with the Royal Marsden London Hospital's radio, Prince William also revealed his favorite Christmas as Elf and shared his fondness for festive delicacies. He admitted to focusing on what his children want for Christmas as a father and how he wishes for the world to be a better place. Asked for his Christmas wishes, the Duke of Cambridge said, If I have to say right now, I would say it would be for my favorite team, which is Aston Villa, to win their football match on Boxing Day. I think it'd have to make sure everyone could enjoy it. So we'd have to bring everyone together, have a big party. There would definitely be no COVID, and there certainly would be no cancer in the world if I was in charge of Christmas for the day. How's that? Is that a good enough answer? Prince William also thanked the team of the Royal Marsden for their hard work over the past year. He said, I've always been amazed by the positivity, the energy, the hope, and the love that goes on at the Royal Marsden. All the team working there almost constantly beaming under very difficult circumstances and I always come away feeling incredibly enlightened, inspired. Hopeful for everyone who's being looked after by the Royal Marsden. I think a lot of people when they think of being treated for cancer or having cancer. Obviously, it's a gloomy outlook, when you're first told about it, and all sorts of emotions spring to mind when you're told. And so when you go there and you meet people who are having cancer treatment, you do worry, what kind of spirit they're going to be in. Are they going to want to talk to you are they going to want to get in advance, you know, how are they how they manage it. But every single time I go. They're worried that maybe we're going to come across some people who are having a really tough time. Everyone amazes me, they are so positive, so engaging, wonderful people. And I think there is something very leveling about what happens there. I think everyone goes there and become a team. And they all know that they all been there, been treated for cancer. They're all gonna fight together after each. Other in Teresa real camaraderie that you feel sit down with everyone.